Hello, Yoga 108 Seekers and Sages. Um, welcome to March. I'm happy to share with you this month the Kirtan Kriya meditation, and it is one of the foundational, most powerful meditations um, in the Kundalini tradition. It's one of the top seven. So um, Yogi Bhajan said, if all of the other teachings were lost, this one would get you through the, the transition through the Aquarian age. And whew, it's rocky out there. And so this is a good one for March. And this is a really great one for March because we're talking about like rebirth and how we come to this beginning of process. And this Kirtan Kriya is all about honoring that process. So we use the sounds sa, ta, na, ma. And sa is the sound for birth. Ta is the sound for existence. Na is the sound for transformation or death. And then ma is the sound of rebirth, the returning full cycle. So it's honoring the cycle of life. And um, when we are chanting it, we're chanting to tap each finger in turn. And so tapping the index finger is our Jupiter finger, which is our energy expression of expansion, creativity, more, more, more. Um, then we tap the middle finger, which is the finger of Saturn energy, which is structure and responsibility, law and order. And then the ring finger is our sun finger. So the, ener the energies of vitality, right? Outward expression. And the pinky finger is our mercury finger, our expression of communication. And so we're bringing that expansion, structure, vitality, communication, a part of the mental field. Like we're bringing all of those in balance by tapping each fingertip in sequence. The other part that is a nice honoring of the cycle is the way we use the voice. So we're speaking out loud, which is the voice of the human. It's awareness of all these 3D things in the world, the way we speak to each other in this, in this three-dimensional plane we live in. And then we whisper, which is the voice of the lover. And that is experiencing this longingness to belong, this soul connection. And then we say the chant mentally, which is the voice of the divine. And that brings us into a, the connection of the sounds, the connection of the energetic um, expressions into our infinity field, the field of all possibility. So it's really like woven together in a very, um, a very interesting way and a helpful way for us to come into balance. And we need to do that because this transitional time period um, is something that's very exciting and we want to capitalize on our potential and be able to ride just like mother nature into a new season of birth and creativity and development of our ideas, of our projects, of our relationships, of just how we um, express ourselves. So this is a nine minute meditation. We'll be sitting up tall, um, the chin down and slightly back so that the back of the neck is long. The hands come back so the hands on the knees. You can begin in Gyan Mudra. We'll be touching each fingertip to the thumb in turn. The meditation is aloud and then it's a whisper and then it's mental, so silently in your mind. And then we whisper again and we end chanting it aloud. So breath is natural, eyes are closed. That's what we're doing. Let me find our track and bring that up. Whoops. Hmm. My friend is not listening here. Let's see if I can get it. Nothing's moving. Okay. Now we've got it. Thank you for waiting. Close your eyes. Oh, we have to tune in. <laughs> Let's tune in. Let's tune in. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Three times. Inhale. And exhale. We'll inhale to tune in.
Now hands at the knees. And we'll bring the awareness as if the sound's dropping into the crown of the head and coming off the third eye. As we saw, as we tap the fingers, take a deep breath in.
center please may the long time sun shine upon you may all love surround you and may the pure light within you guide your way on satnam 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 go with many blessings and remember who you are and have a great month have a great month in march